Farm by our old farmhouse today, we are starting season three of our old farmhouse. We've been here for three summers. Come on. Hi guys, let's start with our garden. It's so cold out here, even this bucket of water is frozen. And, and it's the middle of April. And not even a little bit frozen, I mean. Well, maybe a little bit frozen, but. Ah! The thing is, I well, don't know, broke, half you know? an inch ice. Yeah, and I just took a shower. That's why I'm freezing. All right, guys. Well, last year we got this underlayment put down, and a lot of people asked why we didn't get anything planted there. And really, the reason was is we were prepping this soil for this season. We got that rototilled up uh, about a year and a half ago, and then after that, we put down some minerals, some fertilizer. We covered it up, and this year, this is going to be where some of our pumpkins and watermelon grow after we get it cleaned up. You said now there hasn't been really anyone out here except for atlas and i one day about two weeks ago um, other than that you're seeing everything from what it looks like after winter and we had a lot of wind you can see one of our sprinklers got knocked down um, you can still see we had some of our hoses out here our plants are dead but i'm thinking this year we're gonna have two sets of tomatoes that are growing we're gonna have peppers we're gonna have zucchini back there. They did really, really well last year. Um, over here, we actually got our garlic and onions planted. And you can see right here, these are, this is garlic that's coming up. And over here, we have onions that haven't quite sprouted yet. Uh, Amelia and I, we are working on that garden bed right there. Um, the far garden bed, I think, is going to be potatoes. And then over here, um, this garden bed um, and this one I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get planted in there just yet and then over in our two smaller raised beds we have garlic in this one and onions in this one guys I don't think this should on um, my pear, our pear, pear tree is doing that good yeah it's a little guy what happened we're not 100% sure. This is one that we got planted last year. It's, it's still got a little bit of green to the stem, so I'm sure it's probably okay, but the soil out here was just really, really hard. A lot of rock in it, so hopefully it'll do okay. But looking from this side of the garden, you guys can kind of see everything that's going on. It kind of looks a little crappy out here right now because, well, I mean, we live in Michigan, and even right now, I think it's 31 degrees outside, so it's kind of cold. 32. What do we got going on over here, Amelia? We are going to plant some new trees in. We got holes. I was like, want me to go in one? Jump in there. I'm not jumping, so I just got took a shower. So what are we doing with these? Planting trees in them. Yeah, so we have some pear trees. And going all the way up to our driveway, we're going to have pear. And I think cherry trees planted on this side of the house, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. We're still working on it, Dad. We went extra deep with the holes, but we'll have another video on us planting them. Hopefully, that'll be next yeah, week. Yeah, you see how deep they are? Because look. <laughs> yeah. They're deep, deep. It is. Over here on Bram's apple tree, you, we can see that. I can get it to focus. We do have some buds that are starting to come out. So, I think this one's doing really well. I'm just hoping that the weather stays warmer after today, which it's kind of supposed to. So that way we don't deal with any issues. But this tree now I think is two years that we've had it out here. And then if you didn't see already, you can see we did sustain some damage to our greenhouse. We've had some like 50 mile an hour winds out here. So on our list today, Amelia and I, we are heading off to the store to see if we can't find a replacement panel or some plexiglass to, to cover that up. Because my plan is, is next week, to get all of our plants moved off into our greenhouse. And at that point, all we gotta do is get this thing cleaned out and it will be ready to go. With the temperatures next week being in the 50s and sunny, that should warm up plenty enough for everything that we have going on. And then we do provide some heat in the evenings just to make sure that it doesn't dip below uh, 32 degrees. So that area is going really well. Moving over here, you can see we had Again, some more damage. This blew down a little while ago, but this used to be propped up over here for some of our berry bushes. And when I came out the other day, it had actually blown up, hit the barn, and then had blown around in there. We moved it out, and it just keeps blowing around. So just 
keeps blowing up against the fence, but we got to get that worked on. These girls, they're doing real well. They're kind of loud today, but they're doing great. I did check on our bees, and unfortunately, I'm not super sure how well they're doing. So, fingers crossed that, that they're okay. And then as we walked back up to the house, one of the winter projects that we worked on was we wanted to find a better way to keep our rabbits. Um, we had a kind of larger um, rabbit hutch that worked real well. We kept it outside underneath our barn during the summer and then we moved it into the barn during the winter to provide some warmth and some break from the elements. And this year, this was what we did. We put two of these cages one on the inside one on the outside so our rabbit can move back and forth he's got water on the inside he's got water on the outside and his food stays on the inside and surprising enough or interestingly enough he pretty much only poops outside and then the chickens get in there and they dig it up and it works out really well so i'm really glad with that project as we expand how many rabbits we have we are going to build more of those but that again provides them some shade um some break from the elements but he does spend the majority of his time outside because he does love it so much so back here on the back side of our house we've had some issues going on with our plumbing we had to pay to have all of our main line that goes to our septic tank replaced um, quite a bit of money but then we found out that that actually wasn't the issue um, the septic people i guess didn't quite know what was going on and unfortunately, right before we purchased the house, when our new septic tank was installed, there was an old tank that was below here. And apparently our kitchen um, for our sink and our washing machine, that outlet line did not get routed to the new septic tank. Instead, it was still connected to the old tank. So I don't know, it's been working for years. It's, it's worked the entire time we've owned the house, but then all of a sudden we had this major backup of water. So two grand to have some plumbing rerouted, but unfortunately there's not much we can do in there. So that's been kind of a mess. And then just taking a look out here in the back, um, we had quite a bit of damage to some of the stuff that we had out in our playground area, but I did get that fixed. Um, did have to fix the, uh, the top roof to it as well. And then just looking out here, I mean, everything's starting to green up. Um, well, except for the woods, but we've got a couple of projects going on out here. We got some limbs that we got to get picked up. Um, you can see there's some shovels and stuff back there. We're working on moving some soil around over there. And then other than that, I mean, it is kind of a mess out here right now because of everything that's going on. But it is our goal to have everything by the end of this week kind of prepped for summer. So having everything picked up. Um, for the most part though everything's going great i will say we've had one issue chris has got some decorations out there at the end of the driveway and we've had some out here at the end of this driveway for oh quite a few well since we purchased the house almost three years ago and about three weeks ago we had someone that stole a whole bunch of stuff from the end of that driveway and i think someone stole a sign from the end of this driveway and it's sad when something like that happens, but hopefully it's kind of over and we won't have to deal with it again. So in a nutshell, that is what we're starting off with season three. I know Amelia is really excited. I know Abraham's really excited about the fruit trees. He planted the apple tree that he picked out, like I said, about two years ago. And, and that's something that still interests him. But um, overall, I think we're gonna have a great season. We got a lot of really cool projects that are coming up. And I think on top of that, I think that this is gonna be the year that we're gonna see a lot of growth. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please do make sure to subscribe. Like I said, we're gonna have a lot of new content coming out. Um, if you enjoy the video, please consider sharing it. And Amelia, she loves the comments, so please keep them coming. And other than that, guys, we will see you next time. Let's start with our season. Let's start with our garden.